Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would do a quick video for you today about spoon templates. Um, now this is nothing new to most people but I just wanted to sort of spend sort of five minutes or so just talking about things like this, a little template for a spoon. Um, and the reason I think these are important, whether you're a brand new carver or someone that's been doing it for a long time, um, is they really are very helpful in terms of determining the initial shape and size of your spoon. Um, now there's some really talented carvers out there who can do everything by eye, and I've tried it myself a few times, and it's just not a skill that I have, and I suspect most people will be the same. Um, now, I've got a selection here, you know, none of them are particularly special, um, and that's the beauty of these kind of things, is they are really just giving you the initial outline, you know, template, if you will, of the spoon that you're making, and it gives you something to work towards when you're roughing out. Um, now, I often find once I've roughed out the template um, and I've got that kind of spoon-shaped object, I then kind of go off-piste a little bit and I start kind of embellishing it and changing it slightly depending on partly my, my ideas um, and partly what the wood wants me to do. Um, but just to give you an example, here is a fairly standard template. Um, in fact, I'll get you a slightly better one. You know, and this is, this is very, very simple. You know, it, there's no frills in it. Um, but what it will allow me to do is take a, um, a blank like this, and if it's nice and flat, I can just lay it on there like this, draw around it, happy days. If I've got something like the other side, which is slightly curved, I'll put it on, and as you can see, hopefully there, there are some gaps either side. And because this is a flexible material, all I do is push that down, and it has covered all of the wood, which essentially means that I'm able to draw all the way around it perfectly. I'm not leaving it like this and getting a pen or a pencil and trying to kind of describe that arc and not quite getting it right. Um, the other thing these are really useful for, let me just grab a different uh, template. So this is a, a partly roughed out spoon. I didn't have a piece of timber to hand that, that I tried to put a crank into. So obviously you can see here there is there is a bit of a curve going on. Um, now if this was a solid template, which is why I like this kind of flexible plastic, it would sit there like this and then again I would have to try and draw around that whilst keeping the pen at exactly the same angle, which is quite difficult. But if you imagine this is just kind of a, a little blank that I've not already roughed out, all I need to do is push this down very lightly and the whole thing sits perfectly on what's gonna become my spoon. And it just means I can draw around it really, really easily and really accurately um, to get that template. Now, I'll give you a couple of little examples. This is my little coffee scoop that I made not long ago and I just drew around that on a piece of paper, tidied it up, cut it out, and now I've got a little template if I want to make more of them. Um, I've got a little small sort of teaspoon size thing here. Uh, I've got what else, you know, a slightly bigger sort of eating spoon. Um, and you know, that's the joy with these things, is you can make, a, make them as, as similar or as varied as you like. You can do different designs, different styles, lots of different sizes. Um, you know, I've got a selection of them here um, that I use sort of periodically. Um, and the joy, as I said, the good thing about these is that you can draw out your, um, your outline on your piece of wood um, and it just gives you something to aim at. You don't, you know, if I, if I do an outline, let's say of this one here, uh, there you go. If I do an outline of this, the spoon may not end up looking like this, but it does give me something to work towards. And if I change it during the carving process, then all well and good. Um, if I keep it exactly accurate, if you are trying to produce things that are the same, you know, maybe you're making a set of spoons for somebody or something like that, then you can kind of work really closely to the template. Um, and then just very quickly and lastly, these are made out of, as you can see, a sort of a flexible plastic. Um, I used to use cardboard, but I found that it degraded quite quickly um, and I ended up having to replace them quite often. So I moved over to this kind of flimsy plastic. Um, now this plastic is from a very cheap um, kitchen cutting board. I got a pack of four of them for about $3.99 online um, and they work really well. This is two of the four cutting boards. So I've still got two left. Um, so plenty more um, templates to be made out of those. You know, if you don't want to spend out any money, I have heard of people using things like um, plastic drinks bottles, that kind of thing. So, you know, any kind of sort of 
fairly rigid plastic um, and a pair of scissors and you'll be able to get something like this. So anyway guys, it was just a quick few thoughts on templates and why I like them uh, and certainly why I recommend them. Um, maybe just to give you something to think about. Hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.